Hello and uh, welcome to my brief presentation on the MSc in Finance here at Trinity Business School, um, which is part of Trinity College Dublin. My name is uh, Samuel Wiener and I am the uh, Program Director. You will also recognize the name of Ella Halfakri, who is your um, Recruitment Manager, and uh, Dr. Jenny Bell, who is the Associate Director of this program. Despite being the director of the MSc in Finance, I am an associate professor in Trinity Business School and my specialization is in econometrics and corporate finance. So um, now I want to talk a bit about why you uh, should consider the MSc in Finance, where well, you clearly already are, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, but uh, why do I think the MSc in Finance is, is such a good program and hopefully the right program for you. So let's, let's look at your classmates. One of the really important things about this program is that it's very, very international. Okay? Uh, in 2019, we had over 600 applications from 48 countries, 21 different nationalities enrolled. And in 2020, we had over 700 applications from 51 countries with 29 nationalities enrolling. So the program is very international. The students come from all over the world, and um, that's really the key strengths of, of this program, right? Uh, being at the very heart of business, Trinity College is a very international university and is really tying into this new island um, that we have in the 21st century, which is a key international player with people coming from all over the world to the University of Dublin to improve their skills and putting in more than they take out. So who's teaching you on EMSC in Finance? Well, um, besides me, who will be teaching you econometrics, um, you would be taught by uh, all of, 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 uh, of these fine people you're, you're looking at. Um, and the main takeaway from this slide is that we really offer a blend between um, really strong researchers uh, who are public figures. A lot of you will, will recognize Professor Brian Lucy, who, who is uh, covered by, by mass media. But we also work together with um, key people in, in industry, right? And while I didn't list every, every um, faculty member on, on the slide, um, a lot of the people who will be teaching you, like François Aubert or Maurice Howell, um, are real experts in industry and real experts in, in their field, okay? So you get this academic experience from, from a purely kind of theoretically, theoretical academic perspective. Um, followed then by, um, by, by teaching staff on, um, which, from an industrial background. Okay? Some of you might uh, recognize Rory Quinn, uh, a, a great colleague of ours who is a former minister. So the uh, MSc in Finance is now ranked uh, as, as one of the best programs uh, across the world. Okay, So uh, we are covered by the prestigious uh, FT education ranking. We're 18th in Europe. Um, fifth across the UK and Ireland, and the 27th globally. Now, you might wonder, well, why, why is this important? Well, first of all, the uh, Financial Times ranking very much is, uh, in football terms, would be the Champions League of, um, of, of, of rankings, right? So it's really the crown ranking um, is, is the FT ranking, okay? And, uh, and we, entered, <clears throat> we entered last year, and uh, we are 27th in the world, which is very, very good. And it's really indicating uh, what a great job we did over the years, right? And DFT ranking is a combination of 19 different factors, but uh, one of the very important ones is employability. So how likely is it that you are going to get employed? And another very important factor is uh, the diversity um, of both the teaching staff, but also the diversity of uh, the students. So let's look a bit into your learning journey. And... Um, Let's have a look at the courses that, that, that you're going to take. In the first term, so as you know, the master is, uh, is, is one year long, right? And, uh, and we break it down in three, three terms. The first term, the Michaelmas term, you will have to um, sit six uh, modules. And these six modules are your core modules, okay? So you will start with advanced international financial statement analysis, corporate finance, derivatives, econometrics and data science, credit and fixed income instruments, and investment theory. Once you successfully attended all these six modules, you move on to the second term, the Hillary term, 
where you have two core modules, Portfolio and Wealth Management and the International Residency Week, and you choose four electives. The electives are listed below, and the main takeaway here is to realize that you can really tailor-make your master, okay? So you take ownership of this program, and you decide what is best for you, okay? Um, and of course, this is done together by uh, communicating with, with, with people um, in, in, in Trinity, um, because you really have the time to make up your mind, right? You really have the time to, to, to look into things in, in details. Um, and, uh, and this allows you to really reflect on, on what you think is best for you, okay? A few words about the International Residency Week. The International Residency Week um, allows us to travel somewhere and to really tie in this mindset that we're part of a global international community, right? It also ties in perfectly with this idea of an international world, right, of a global world where um, just focusing on the Irish economy is just not enough, right? And this is why we are such a well-ranked program because we are international, right? We want to get out there. We want to understand how the world functions. We want to understand different cultures. You cannot work in finance nowadays if you have a purely national uh, mindset. It's simply impossible. Finally, in your last term, the Trinity term, you will write your dissertation. Um, you can choose your project. You can choose your supervisor. We have a very long list of supervisors you can choose from. They don't necessarily have to be from an academic background. You can also choose people you met during the program who are industry experts, which really gives you the option to, um, to focus on, on a very relevant subject in, in the financial industry. I personally um, was myself, or am myself, a graduate from this program. I, um, I uh, studied in Trinity College and I did the MSc in Finance many years ago now. And of course, my dissertation was with an academic, um, but then again, I became an academic, so I... Uh, didn't really focus on the um, on, on, on the uh, industrial side of things, uh, but more on the theoretical side of things. But the dissertation will allow you to really choose what you think is best for you. Right? And, and this is really the key strength of our program. You decide what is best for your career. We're here to help you, but ultimately it's your choice. So um, with COVID-19, which is now going for 12 months and even more, um, we had to adapt the, um, the teaching and learning approach that we have, right? So we were thinking very carefully, how can we continue to be a leading program while um, being in line with the law, but also, you know, having in the back of our head this need for additional security uh, because of COVID-19, but also continuing to deliver this high quality education, okay? So what we did is that we completely flipped the classroom model around, okay? And we now work with a so-called blended teaching and learning approach. What is it? It's a combination of face-to-face -face elements with online elements, okay? So while you can rely on, 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 on meeting us face-to-face and -face, on, on talking to your lecturers face-to-face, -face, uh, a lot of it will also be delivered online, okay? Um, the student engagement feedback so far was, was, was positive. I mean, we're continuing a learning process. I can speak for myself, who will be teaching you financial econometrics, that one of the things I added was um, an art tutorial. Um, I did this together with my PhD student, Yitzhi Wang, and we're teaching the students how to code, okay? And this is a perfect example of why the MSc in Finance in Trinity is, 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 is such a good program, because we constantly try to understand what can be done better, okay? Where can we reflect and think what could students possibly need in order to increase their chance of employment and increase their chances in life? And one of the things that we introduced this year was coding, right? Learning how to code. And all the people who will graduate from the program this year will have a basic understanding in coding, which is extremely important in today's world. So uh, where are our graduates? Well, um, I guess the slide is telling you they're all over the place. One of them is sitting right in front of you and he's now teaching on the MSc in finance. Uh, but, uh, but other ones uh, would work for, for very large companies that you immediately recognize. Uh, for example, in the banking sector with JP Morgan or Deutsche Bank. Um, some work in, in, in industry like uh, BMW. Um, but as you can see, you will... It, it, 
the background of, uh, or I shouldn't say the background, I should say rather the, the, the outcome, right? So the background of our graduates or the outcome of you as a student is, uh, is wide, right? Um, our employment figures are very high. It's something uh, which we put a lot of um, effort and attention into. We have a dedicated careers team. Um, and you will find a job in well, pretty much an industry of your choice, right? Um, there's a lot of opportunities out there and the university is really there to help you grab these opportunities, okay? Um, so let me say a few words about, about why Dublin. Um, why should you come to Dublin? Trinity is a fascinating place because you have this medieval enclave protected by walls in the middle of a very modern city. Uh, and Dublin is indeed a very young, very vibrant city. Ireland is a country in change. Ireland is a country which um, is booming in many ways. Um, it's a really nice city. Uh, I'm not from Dublin, but I've been in Ireland now for seven years, and um, and it really has become a new home. Right? It's um, it's a very enjoyable place to be. I most certainly enjoyed it uh, as a student. I still enjoy it as a young person, I guess. Um, and the good thing about Trinity is not only do you have this panache of studying in the leading university of the country, one of the leading universities in the world, but you are also really at the center of business, right? All over the city, you have all these different employers uh, which come to Trinity to present themselves. Uh, and if you want to go out and reach out to them, it's a, a stone's throw away, right? So, um, Let's have a look at, our, at, at the careers team. Um, what is important to understand is that Trinity, uh, the Trinity Business School in, in particular, is dedicated in getting you employed, right? And trying to work together with you to make sure that you find the right place for your career, okay? That you manage to, um, to do what you want, that you manage to get employed, um, and this careers team is there and it's dedicated just for you, okay? So they will write you, they will uh, help you to write your, your CV, they will um, bring some jobs to your attention, they will um, give you uh, very useful insights into how to do an interview, etc., etc. right? So all this, all this uh, help is, is really there. Um, so for more information, um, here are a few links. If you're thinking about applying, you should definitely email my colleague Ella Halfakry. Uh, her email address is, is, uh, is, is, is on this slide. Uh, but in any case, you should follow us on social media and you should really see uh, all the things that Trinity Business School is, is, is doing. Right? Trinity Business School, just like Dublin, just like Ireland, is growing and it's becoming more and more international and it's just fascinating to be part of it. So I hope to uh, meet you soon and thank you very much for watching.